Hello and welcome. Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I am doing some earthy colours today. I had been doing a lot of um, different shades of blue um, and I'm just switching over to some <coughs> earthy colours. So I have this sand mixed, pre-mixed up in the jar. I've, I've mixed it with my normal pouring medium. It's just that I try to reuse all the jars I possibly can. So I think I'm gonna have this for my kind of background and um, see how we go. So it's, it's nicer to have something different than white or black. So this sand colors quite, um, works really well with the earthy colors that I'm gonna use. And yes, just as I start a video, the cars turn up at my home. <laughs> Always the way. <laughs> and I've still got this horrible cold, cough. Can't get rid of it. Anyway, another story. But I will just push on with this and hope that my husband doesn't disturb me. Um, he does, that's okay. It's... So I'm going to do my earth colours like I told you so. Maybe I should just run a bit of this on the base of the can on the end that I'm going to um, add some detail down this end. I haven't got the canvas level but that's okay. It's not going to really affect this particular one. Right yeah. So that's the sand. I am going to put some metallic bronze. It's already mixed up. I've added my pouring medium to the jar because it was um, already empty jar. So I just wanted to reuse it again. So I'm going to add these lovely colors. Okay, not, not too much, not too much. I'm going to add a little bit of, this is burnt umber with a good chunk of black in it. So I like it to go even darker. I know some people or lots of people will say, oh, I don't like brown. But, you know, it depends what piece of art you're doing, some of it. You know, it's perfect for... So this is real earthy. So I thought I had mixed 50% gold, 50% silver, but it seems that I've mixed silver and bronze to get this color because I've just mixed my 50% gold and 50% silver and you can see it's completely different. So this must be bronze mixed with silver. So I'll put some of the 50% gold and 50% silver. It's a really lovely champagne colour. So this one is the gold and silver. Gorgeous colours. And this one is the silver with the um, copper or bronze, whatever you call it. And that's lovely too. Really lovely, minky, gorgeous colour. Mm. That's probably enough for that. I'm just going to tilt it out a bit. Just letting the colours run over each other, but not, not get muddy. Let's take it over my edges then and deals with it. The sides of the canvas covers them nicely with some colours, the same colours. I'm going to blow out in a minute. So just re-centre it, you paint. Whoops. Back to the center. I'm gonna add some white in here. 
just a normal white I've just mixed it up in this large container add a bit more of this along here so when I blow this out hopefully this will feather out the top so a little bit more of the sand to give it plenty of area plenty of um, moisture to blow the paint over radio and I think I'm good to go I think I'm good to go I'm going to take some of this down this way first so this is my little mini blower Doing the wiggles gives a really lovely effect. I want to go upwards now, so let's put the speed up. Gorgeous! Oh my goodness! That's gorgeous! That is so gorgeous! Gorgeous, gorgeous! Just gonna flatten out. Sometimes, I mean, it looks really lumpy now, but it dries really nice and flat. edges that is stunning even if I do say so myself now I really want to I would really love to put some balloon kisses in there when the paints dried a little bit I know that there's lots of people that say no but it, they shouldn't turn out actually like balloon kisses they're just sort of move the paint in a way that I like. So I'm going to balloon kiss the very edge of my canvas so it has a nice effect on the edges of my canvas. But I am super duper happy with that. It's just like, so it's not actually a balloon kiss look when it's, it's let's wipe it off in between. lovely I'm not actually gonna go any further with the balloon with that but there's just just a few so that's the finished article I will just whiz over it with my heat wand want to add some like detail just get a, a skewer you want to just trace some of the color up a bit just to soften it really there you go oh that's lovely really like that that should dry really really lovely and sparkly because it's got all that metallic paint in it so that's a really nice earthy color with the sand background really loving that one and i hope you do too like i said i've had a blues week where i've done a lot of blue this week so it's nice to um switch it up and do 
lovely earth colours. Oh yeah, okie doke, I'm just looking at now standing back. So let me know what you think you guys. Thanks so much for joining me again. I hope that gives you some inspiration, even if you don't, you know, copy exactly what I do, but it gives you um, food for thought and you switch it up your own way, then that's what I'm here for. It's to just lead you into um, some other ideas that you maybe didn't have. So until tomorrow, my lovelies, please take care and um, take care of yourself because if you're not well, you can't help anyone else. And enjoy life. Enjoy life. Till tomorrow. Bye for now.